Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Emily Lucy Ratch. If you are new here, I've got an Instagram account, a TikTok account, and now a YouTube channel. So welcome if this is your first time on my channel. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So, it's one of those evenings. It's the first Sunday of lockdown and there's only so much walks, cups of tea and biscuits I can do. So this video is encouraging you to grab a drink and we're going to just not think about the current situation where all bars, restaurants are closed. Instead, we're going to think optimistically and we are going to get ahead of the game guys. We're going to plan outfits for when this is over. I'm thinking if we behave and things go well, one second, then we're going to be able to go to restaurants and to bars again, whether that means sitting outside or being able to go to each other's houses, anything like that, we're still going to need to look our best. So we need some glam outfits. So this video is sponsored by Miss Pat and all the outfits I'm going to show you today are flattering outfits for when we want to feel dressed up, nice, sexy. I think Miss Pat do this, does this so well. This is my first ever Miss Pat YouTube haul. And I have to say I'm absolutely loving Miss Pat since it's had its makeover. It's gone down this vibe where it's like sexy cool. This little cute hoodie is a perfect example where it's not just it's not just a standard tie-dye hoodie, it's got these sleeves just to bring that extra level to your outfit. And then I've also got these cute little stud earrings, just everything I feel like is just a vibe. I love the vibe. So, I thought why not just like put some cool outfits together that are optimistic. <laughs> I'm going to keep using that word. And show you why I love Miss Pap for... Out, out, restaurant, sexy vibes. Let's begin. Ching, ching. Okay, first, put my wine down. I have got a gorgeous dress to show you. It is not only my favourite style of dress, which is, of course, the wrap dress. We've gone for it in a wild print. This leopard print wrap dress is a vibe. I love the sleeves. I think they're so, so flattering. And the fit is perfect. This one is a size 14 frill detail wrap dress animal. I just love a little bit of animal print this time of year. I just think Christmas party vibes. Even if we have to work Christmas parties, on a Zoom call, as long as they are providing free alcohol, it's it's okay, right? Yeah? I thought so. So, I like this. And I also think this would actually be really nice in summer, like on a holiday. You could team it up with like big earrings, flat sandal. Like it's very universal. It's not just a, here's my Christmas party dress, which I know so many of you have got in the wardrobe and have not wore since last Christmas party. So, this for me is a really nice universal out-out style. And as you can see, I am feeling myself in this dress. Then, number two is something that I've wanted to try. So when the trends of the shirts with the layering came in, I was like, I'm not doing the cut off V. Sorry, the fireworks are still going off. I mean, it's been like, what, six days? We need to give it a rest with the fireworks. <laughs> So yeah, when they're like, what's the, what was the term that it was called? It's like um, the V-neck jumper look. I can't remember what it's called. But it's like a V, but it's got cut off arms. What's it called? I can't remember now. But you know what I mean. It was all over Instagram. Everyone was wearing these, like, like Colton Banks vests over shirts. Um. Looked gorgeous, so many looks, I absolutely loved it. I thought, oh my god, it looks so nice, it looks really, really nice, but it won't work for my body shape. Then, I went for it. 
and I was actually pleasantly surprised. So because this jumper has got this kind of like ribbed lining on it, it's cropped and it's a knot and then the, the, sh the seam is on the shoulder. I actually think this has ended up working it so well. I was really, really feeling this vibe and the shirt dress stunning obviously i'm not encouraging anyone to wear this without a belt around it and just wear it as a tent because it is so unflattering to wear on its own um but the actual fabric quality is super nice it's really thick i just think it's a really lovely lovely dress to put underneath jumpers so the quality is actually really really nice and i actually got that one in the 16 because i wanted it to be oversized because if you get it to your actual size I feel like the bum situation will well because I've got a sticky out bum anyway I feel like it would look it would just no it needs to be it needs to be really like oversized for it to work and then I got this top to bring it all in in a size medium so I'm guessing that's like a maybe like a 10 to 10 to 12 um, and because it's small it, it just works so I think if you're gonna do it do it in the ratio where this size up and then this size down and I just I was feeling it I feel like it's a really cool vibe you can either do it with the short boots which are these absolutely stunning ones absolutely love these and because these are quite like high up the ankle I found them really flattering because they they like kind of molded to my ankle whereas usually guys I'd be like avoid this kind of cut off length at all costs because these are quite sleek around the ankle and they've got this bit of um, elastic, it actually worked to really flatter my ankle. So yeah, I've put this outfit, I've intended to go out with flat boots, you can wear it with tights, a black bag, coat, or you could wear it with a heel, um, a heeled boot, a knee high boot. I think a boot is a, is a vibe I'd go for, but how cute would that be if we could go and do like daytime brunches again and you could wear that? Like your girl's Christmas meal. It's not over the top like Christmas party glam, but it's kind of like stylish, cool vibe. Or how cute would that be for a date? Yes. I mean, I know some of you are sneaking out and having dates, so <laughs> no comment. Okay, so then the third one, okay, the third one I want to show you is a leather skirt. So it's been really hard for this season to find the perfect pleather skirt because I have so many but because I've put weight on over lockdown and I haven't lost it all yet now gyms are closed I'm just like do you know what let's just we're not getting fit in them let's just move on and get a bigger size so I've gone for this one in a size 14 I just love it it's super flattering I love that it's got this ruching detail at the side and then this like lapel over the top you can wear that with some shapewear underneath and then I've put it with this bodysuit which I've mentioned on stories a few times and I absolutely love it. It is a, just a crew neck bodysuit. It's a crew neck bodysuit and obviously it has to be a bodysuit, can't be a top because anyone like me with a tummy area that you want to kind of keep slimmer and look more streamlined in your outfits and not like the bulging area then a bodysuit will really help to pull that in and I've teamed that with the black skirt and these gorgeous knee-high boots love them and for my girls that have messaged me saying we really want you to do a knee-high boots haul that fit bigger legs look at these they have adjustable tops this goes bigger and smaller I mean this whole video is worth watching just to find just to find these boots bigger and smaller top where have you been all my life so I kept that look quite simple um, but again I'm thinking how cute that will be to just like even if you're gonna go and have like go to your friends and have a bit of a Christmas party or Christmas Day any of these looks you could definitely wear out on Christmas Day which optimistic I'm not saying any more than that <laughs> um, and then I've put it with this little suede jacket which I'm all about a biker suede jacket. It's actually khaki, like I love khaki and black together. Especially in autumn, I feel like it really, really works. This quality as well is so nice, so nice. And I just love the detail, it really comes in and brings the 
brings the waist in, creates this cool vibe, which I am totally feeling. Or if you wanted to go extra bougie, you could wear it with this coat, which is, it's Christmas, do you know what I mean? And then our final look is a leather jogger. And I did the leather jogger last year, but because I'm quite bottom heavy, I feel like I need to size up. So these ones do fit, but in hindsight, I would have gone for the extra large rather than the large because I want them to be baggy. Because I've got the drawstring on the waist, I feel like I could definitely have gone up a bigger size so they're baggy on my legs and then pulled the drawstring in and really cinched it in my waist. So this is what I mean. I feel like the waistband is perfect. They fit on the waist, but it's just here on my legs. I need a little bit more room for my thighs. So if I'd got the biggest size, I could have just literally pulled them in and it would have been a bit more of a jogger rather than a fitted trouser. And then I've teamed it up with this bodysuit, which I have been eyeing up for a while now. I think it's really cute. The only thing is it's quite sheer, so I've put my shapewear underneath it, my shapewear body underneath it, just so it's not completely see-through. I've also included this jacket, which I've shared on my stories before, and I just love the quality of this blazer. I've raved about it enough times on my Instagram stories, and it is the oversized double-breasted jacket in sand in a size 12, and I just love how this fits. It's great for putting over the shoulders with outfits. It's great for wearing with leather leggings and a top. I just think it's a really great universal jacket. It's just really this the vibe that Miss Pap are going for. A really nice quality, stylish, high fashion, but with an affordable budget kind of vibe. I have to say about Miss Pap, the quality is always really, really good. I've never had any problems with quality with Miss Pap. I think they are spot up. On. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, enjoyed a glass of wine with me and your first Sunday lockdown haul from me. I've got loads of videos coming up for the rest of the month. I'm attempting to post minimum twice a week and I'm also doing a huge giveaway towards the end of the month on Instagram around YouTube. So please stay tuned for that and make sure you're following me. And if you want to see anything that I'm not doing or I have done before and I'm not doing anymore, please let me know in the comments um, or if you need any help with any outfits or anything like that. And I will be happy to help and create videos for them. And just look after yourself, guys. I know it's a really weird time to be in the UK. Wales are just about to come out of lockdown, so you guys are ready and raring to go to wear these outfits. Um, but England, we don't know how long this is going to go on for but remember the theme of this video is optimism so <laughs> let's just pre-plan what we're gonna wear when we are free and Boris says get yourself to your favorite sushi restaurant so that being said hope you have a lovely week try to be positive look after yourself use this time to invest in yourself make yourself happy and I will see you guys really really soon Thank you for watching. Bye.